What's up YouTube? How are you doing today? Chana D, your Techno Dad here, and in this video I'll be giving you my final thoughts and my review of the Emotiva XPA9 amplifier. And we're going to get into it right after the jump. And I'm back. Now, first things first, I definitely want to thank Emotiva for sending the XPA9 in for a review. So thank you guys so much. Now, if you don't know exactly what it is, it is a power amplifier that will power nine channels. You've got five high power channels, you know, outputting 300 watts into eight ohms. And you've got two stereo uh, modules in there so you can power four speakers at 65 watts and that's at eight ohms. This retails for $2,100 and I'll leave a link down in the description if you guys want to check out the XPA9 or if you want to check out the unboxing video where I have all that cool sexy B-roll that I normally have. This video won't be like that. This will be pretty much what I thought about it for having it for about seven or eight months now. Now my overall experience with the amplifier is great. The noise floor is super low, dynamics are really awesome and it's been a great, great addition to my setup. Now, if you guys are looking for a one rack, nine channel power amp, definitely check out the XPA9. Now, when I say the dynamics were great, I always like put in that movie Seabiscuit. I know it's an old movie. It's a great movie, you know, minus the Tobey Maguire parts. That's it. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, it's a great movie to check out dynamics because it's about horse racing. And if you haven't seen it, it's a pretty good movie. You should check it out. It's old. Yeah, it's a DVD that I'm putting in. No, it's a Blu-ray. I, I, I got it on Blu-ray. I got it on Blu-ray now. And basically, there's these scenes where it's going like thunderous, like horse racing scene, and it cut to somebody else somewhere else listening to it on the radio in a hotel room, or not a hotel room, in like a hospital bed. And and the shift is is immense. You know, you're going really, really loud, thunderous kind of thing to, you know, quiet listening to it over radio or there's like these other parts where it's people just talking and then it's back into the thunderous you know horse race and those scenes are really good to like check out the dynamics of your system you know whether it's your you know reviewing speakers amplifier receiver whatever and the xpa9 did a great job in those scenes of you know packing that punch and then going going like really quiet it was it was really good i liked it a lot now, if you're wondering which speaker systems I had connected to this amplifier, first it was the Miller & Kreisel S150 system, which is a THX Ultra, you know, they are four ohm speakers and they can handle like 500 watts RMS, really, really beefy, and could use a lot of power kind of speakers. So I had those connected up and I also had the four SVS Prime Elevation speakers on the ceiling. So those nine channels were connected and the SVS are eight ohms, The you know, MNKs are all four ohms and the amplifier didn't have any problems, didn't struggle. There was never any clipping or anything like that. So it did a great job handling those speakers, which are vastly, vastly different. The other speaker system I had hooked up is the one that I have currently going on right now. It's the Martin and Logan uh, ESL-X and ESL-C. That's the front stage along with the Motion 4 eyes for surrounds. And again, the uh, SVS Prime Elevation speakers up on the ceiling. And in this situation, we're running speakers that are four ohm, the center, the two surrounds, uh, the two main speakers are six ohm. And of course the Prime Elevation speakers are eight ohm. So I was really curious to see how the amplifier would be able to handle this mixed ohm situation and it did it without any problems. So if you have like a speaker system that's got a different types of speakers, this nine channel amplifier will definitely do the job. Now, the one thing I did not like about it is the like disparity between the power levels of the five you know, ear level speakers and the four height channels. That's kind of like the thing I didn't like because we're going from 300 watts on the ear level speakers and then down to 65 watts for the height channels. Now with this, even after running Odyssey a couple of times, I ended up having to boost the levels of the um, SVS Prime Elevation speakers just so that the ear level speakers and the high channels will have a better balance. So that was the only kind of thing I didn't like about it. Maybe if 
you know, for the XPA9 Gen 4, they reduce it or make it a little bit more even, like go 250 watts on the ear levels and 150 watts each on the surrounds or something like that, where the, you know, difference in wattage is about 100 watts difference because right now it's like 300 and then 65 that's what like 235 watt difference and that's kind of noticeable in this situation so i would you know want in a perfect world the um, wattage to be somewhere around 100 watts apart you know something like that so the system can be more balanced without a lot of tinkering because i know sometimes i just don't want to mess with it until it starts bothering me and i'm like well i can't hear any of the whatever is going on up in the high channels let me change this so you know it's okay there is like a little bit of tinkering you can do to make it sound balanced but i would prefer the you know wattage to be closer together so overall i think this amplifier will do the job in most situations now if you're getting this for a nine channel setup i would recommend it for a 5.1.4 not a 7 uh, 0.1.2 as you know you're gonna have the surround back channels only be 65 watts uh, per channel and you don't want that you want at least like your ear level speakers to be at the same amount of wattage and then your high channels can be less uh, like I said you know I prefer it to be around a hundred watt difference between the two but with this amplifier you're getting 300 watts for five channels and you're getting 65 watts times four channels so it would make sense more to put this into a you know, 5.1.4 setup as opposed to a 7.1.2. So that would be my recommendation for those of you looking for a nine channel amplifier, definitely check out the Emotiva XPA9. It will do you proud. Again, big shout out to Emotiva for sending this in for review. Thank you guys so much. And if you have any questions for me about amplifiers, AV receivers, speakers, whatever, let me know down in the comments below or hit me up on social or email, whichever you like to use. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your techno dad, and I'll see you next time.